Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Soul and today we're going to talk about self-improvement. I'm just going to break it down and get into what it really is to better understand it. So first off, I never really considered myself on self-improvement because to me, the good habits, exercising, meditation, eating clean, etc. I considered that to be part of my spiritual journey. And I was only introduced to the term self-improvement when I first saw a, a Hamza video around eight months ago. So is there a difference between the two? I think so. A spiritual journey or path is something more broad and can be almost anything because it's unique to each individual, which includes self-improvement for some. Self-improvement can also be broad, but I believe there are some more distinct pillars we can observe and that's what we're going to be talking about today here are the five pillars that stuck out to me first one is self-care oftentimes people get into self-improvement because they aren't satisfied with their current life situation this pillar is simple it includes things like getting proper sleep i like getting a, a good nine hours of sleep being more conscious of the food you eat. Some people will cut down on junk food, learn to cook for themselves. But there's not only quitting junk food. Self-care includes going in the direction of dropping any addiction you have, whether it be video games, drugs, social media, or anything else. Next pillar is spirituality. For this one, people will start new habits like meditation, breathing exercises, yoga, these are all things that calm the mind and make you joyful. This can also be going on more walks, spending more time in nature, and overall learning to be happy just spending time alone with yourself. Alright, next pillar is leaving your comfort zone slash taking risks, striving for growth. This one could be like trying new things, facing your fears, becoming more sociable, learning to be yourself in any situation and not be different with everybody you come across to fit their expectations. And yeah, next pillar is pretty straightforward. Everybody seems to love this, myself included. Exercise, going to the gym, doing workouts, practicing the sports you love, MMA training, you got plenty of options. And now, for the final pillar, curiosity. Curiosity is great. It's that shine in your eyes that'll drive you to the four corners of the world. For this, you got reading books, watching videos like this one, talking to people, going on adventures, traveling the world. All fun things and great ways to learn new stuff and fuel that curiosity. And that was the five main pillars of self-improvement that I personally noticed. And the cool thing is these all kind of tie within each other. Curiosity can lead to taking risks. Self-care can lead to spirituality. Exercise can lead to curiosity and so on. So they can all be interconnected. Now, before I end this video, I want to talk about why all of these pillars are important and what are some of the benefits you can experience through self-improvement? It's a path towards being the best version of yourself and achieving your goals. So you'll often be feeling good in your skin, feeling more alive, present, and that really changes everything. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you feel like I missed anything important or have something to share, drop that in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed. It had been a while since I'd done a video just talking like this, but I definitely like making these. So yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.